Hey everyone, how's it going? It's me, it's Korzak. Welcome back to part 29 of the Dark Cloud 2 Platinum walkthrough. In this video, we're going to face Griffin, complete all of chapter 6, get every single missable photo and every single photo. So, let's get right into it. Um, snag a photo of the Ixion train, and take up a photo of the Golden Gate right here. Those two aren't quite missable, but uh, the next photo, the next two photos, are going to be missable. I wonder what Emperor Griffin is really like. Nobody's ever seen him. He controls his followers from the past. I don't know exactly what he's like, but I'm certain that he has tremendous magical power. He's caused enough suffering for everyone. We'll stop him for sure. Right. Looks like we're invited in. Then let's go! We will, but before that... Um, this is a missable photo. You're going to want to grab a picture of the dead tree right here. It's not actually used for anything, but it is a photo that you should pick up because it is missable. And you can also get another photo. This one's not missable. Okay, we need to go a little further out. That's fine. This should be good. So you're going to want to pick up a photo of the hooked nose up there. So that is a picture that you should get. Now you're also going to want to pick up a photo of this door right here. It's the Moonflower Palace, which is a scoop. Well, that, that's an accident, because we do need to go in here. So there is an upcoming photo that is a missable scoop. You've come this far. Excellent, just like myself. No wonder the Atlamelia chose you. What? You must be joking. You're Emperor Griffin? What? Emperor Griffin? <laughs> That's the name you humans have given me out of fear. Well, no matter. A name is but a name. Yes, it is I. The one you would call Emperor Griffin, the ruler of darkness. That is me. <laughs> Griffin, you're gonna pay! Well, shall we get down to it? After all, you've covered so much time and space just for me. Alright, you're gonna want to take a picture of this guy. Just his... anything. It's called Griffin's real face, so just pick up that picture. Uh, because it's a missable photo. So, we got that picture. Cool. Alright, so this guy is, um, not super easy. He isn't super hard, but he's not really super easy either. He will come down here and fight us. Yeah, like that. He does do damage while you're blocking. Uh, Monica's sword should do good damage against him. So we'll use a stamina drink. This is some last boss music, for sure. <laughs> it 
it's a good idea to just dodge those. You can block them too, but it does like pretty high damage to you. Alright, cool. Nice. He's almost at half HP. There we go. Humans don't truly appreciate the value of existence. Excuse me? It's because of humans that suffering spreads throughout the world. Hmm? I won't forgive you, humans. I won't lose to you anymore. What do you mean? You see, even you don't understand. You should be wiped out of existence. All of you should be wiped out. Fight's not done yet. They do it on purpose to make it so your ranged weapons aren't that good against them. They want you to get up and close in the danger zone. <laughs> Alright, yeah, that didn't work out too well. Let's eat some cheese. Alright, cool. We got him. I got a little greedy there. One more hit would have given him, like, kind of a stun or whatever. Well, the guy's running away, so... Alright. Let's just dodge those. This fight's not super hard, really. But... If you, um... Get overconfident, it won't work out very well. Alright, maybe I'm gonna bring Max in. Yeah, his gun does a lot more damage than Monica's armband. Monica's armband is kind of homing, though. But we got him. Quite impressive. I am finished. We won? Be careful. <laughs> I got them! This is what I wanted! With this, it will all be mine. Now then, why don't we get started? It's time to purify this world. Have you heard the legend of these stones? The legend of the stones. He who obtains the three Atlamilias receives the power of the stars. That's right. That's exactly how it goes. However, these stones have another role as well. A somewhat different role. Huh? 
In these stones is enough power to destroy the world. The ancients feared the people of the future. Humans are dangerous creatures, possessing both immense wisdom and even greater greed. They knew that once humans built up their civilizations and gained great powers, they would end up harming the planet itself. So in order to ensure the planet could go on living forever, they came up with a special contrivance. The Star of Oblivion. Star of Oblivion? If humans controlled by greed were to learn of the existence of the Atlamelia, capable of giving them ultimate power, they would be certain to start a war to try to recover them. And they would ultimately fall into the hands of the one with the most power. When that time comes, all life on Earth would be wiped out, and the greed in this world would finally be erased. Time and again throughout the world's history, there have been mass extinctions. But this tale of ruin and destruction definitely won't be making it into the annals of history. Finally, the great disaster shall fall upon the world. The Star of Oblivion will realize its true glory! What are you talking about? If you do that, you'll be destroyed right along with everything else! Me? <laughs> that was my plan all along. I will be swept up in the cataclysm along with all of you fool humans. That will be my fate. Everything will disappear from the face of the world, and then a new world shall take shape. That's how it will be, how it was always meant to be. I won't let you do it! <laughs> and just how are you going to stop me? This is out of your hands now. The change has already begun. Nothing can stop it now. <laughs> but just waiting around for it to happen would be no fun at all. I think I'll erase everything from the world just before the real destruction begins. Just sit back and watch. This is the power of the stones. What did you do? You'll find out soon enough. I shall show you the power this palace possesses, the power I possess. What the? What? 
Somehow, this palace has returned to the present. It can't be. What is Griffin planning now? doing oh man let's get out of here right we need a new plan is that conda and the others this looks like some kind of ruins I'm following Elena's instructions she said to land here here it is I'll set it up listen carefully Max something truly terrible has happened it's incredible, but somehow Griffin has shown up in your time. If he continues, he could go through time, destroying each era in turn. So what should we do? The only way to stop Griffin is to attack his palace with our fortress, Pasnos. But it's not like we can just bring Pasnos to this time period. There is a way. You're kidding! 
at the place where you are now, Kazarov Stonehenge, there is a unique convergence of space-time flow. We must make a Chrono Union there. Chrono Union? It's when time and space envelop each other. We have to make an area where your time and my time will both exist in the same place. If we can do that, then we can send Posnos to your time from here. That's really possible? Yes, the Ancient Ones knew the secret, and Luna Labs deciphered it from their wall murals. We don't have much time. Let's get to it. There should be four stone pillars standing there in Kazarov. I see them! In each pillar there is a hole. The holes are there to receive four colored gems. Put a gem in each one of the holes, and it's possible to make a Chrono Union. But where do I find these gems? The four gems are hidden somewhere in your world. In the forest, the valleys, the sea, or in the mountains. Go to all the places you've ever been and search for those gems. They're definitely there somewhere. There is a key for getting the gems from where they're hidden. The key is hidden in the center of Stonehenge, where you are now. That's it. Now, if you find doors that open with that key, you're sure to find the gems. Okay, I've got it. We'll head out and find them. Even now, Griffin is starting his rampage again. Hurry, Max. Now you can jump to any place you like, in this time or the future, by using the Ixion's time travel system. With the Atlamelia stolen, the Ixion is our only means of time travel. And you can control the time travel system by remote, too. If it's a place with a time gate, you can go directly into the future, just like before. Use it carefully. Awesome! Convenient and cool! Well, so where to first? Remember the star symbols we've seen around? Maybe those symbols mark where the gems are. What do you think? Yeah, I think you're right. Let's go! So there are a few photos for us to pick up over here, so we're just going to run over here and grab them quickly. I need to clean this up. Don't need that. I don't know why I didn't get rid of these earlier. Anyway. Um, so there's five photos over here for us to pick up. Then there's one inside of the Ixion train. And then there are four more photos in total to pick up in this chapter. So you're going to want to snack, snab... You're going to want to snap a photo of this middle pillar. It gives you the scoop. Now you're going to want to take a photo of all of these altars. Just take a picture of the yellow part right there. We got fire, water, wind, and earth. So we're just going to go inside of the train now. Well, the music here is cool. 
But um, we are going to go to the Sindane place first. So we're going to go over to the Sindane station. It, it'll also be a little bit faster than going over there. I went to the wrong place. That's okay. It's still faster than running that entire distance. Alright, so we need to pick up a photo inside of the Ixion train. So this thing right here, uh, you just take a photo of this, it's pinky. So that's it. Well, it's not it, but it, it's it for now. Alright, let's get into uh, the dungeon. Alright everybody, we're just at Haim Rida quickly. We're just going to uh, upgrade Steve a little bit. So, we're just going to make the energy pack uh, the urn version. So, we need... The energy pipe. Uh, the generator. Where is it? Right here. And we also need... the pot right here. All right, so this is the second best. Say cheese. Okay, now we're gonna make the sun and moon armor. So you're gonna wanna grab a photo of the sun, the moon, and an electric sesame. Now we went past it. Oh, right here, cool. This is the best ride pod armor in the game. Say cheese. Okay, so we're gonna need to buy some stuff, that's fine. Uh, we'll make this right here. This will be the most noticeable thing for Steve right now. Because, I mean, we're still using the original backpack that we got him, which is unacceptable. Cool, so now he has 240 HP. There is another one that we can make a little bit later, which is even better, but we can't do it quite yet. Um, I think this is Cedric's house. Yes, it is. Alright, so we're just going to have him fix Steve for us. We're not going to buy that yet. And we're just gonna buy some shield kits to max our armor as much as we can. Unfortunately, this is kind of tedious because they only let you buy one at a time. I guess they couldn't really code it easily because they make it so the price of these things go up every time. Uh, we can probably buy one more. Probably. Sweet. Just enough. Okay, so we're boom, boom, boom. There's still quite a few more to buy. And we still have one more, uh... One more core to upgrade to. I think it's the last core. There might be one more after. Alright, so we need to go and speak to, uh, Conda, because we need to buy some stuff. We're gonna go here. I think I'm actually broke, so I don't know if I'll even be able to buy anything. <laughs> Alright, in the last cart. Yeah, I'm broke, so... <laughs> we are going to do... The money glitch a little bit. It's just saves so much time, I'm okay with it. Alright. We don't have to do this too long. Maybe just for like 30 seconds or something. I don't really want to go farm 39 dungeons just to have enough Gilda to buy this stuff. When I can just do this for literally one minute. The Metalhead Trophy is enough of a grind anyway. <laughs> That's probably good. Yeah. Well, we should probably give him his normal weapon. I 
I mean, I guess we didn't really have to talk to her. I just kind of did. I want to hold on to some. Yeah, we really didn't have to speak to her. Anyway, we're going to buy stuff from Kanda. From Kanda. And we need a bunch of clay. I'll just buy like a hundred. <laughs> cool, so now we can make this. The strongest torso of all contains ancient strength. Alright. So this is the best in slot armor. With 30 defense. It's actually not that much of a boost over this, but... It's still definitely gonna help. Alright. Without further ado, let's get into the dungeon. So we're gonna go to this floor here. Alright, so we don't have to uh, spend much time here. We already have all the metals on this floor. We only need to find the enemy that has the gate key and then we can get out of here. Well, that was easy. <laughs> For some reason, I wasn't expecting to have to do more than one shot on that guy. Well, that was really lucky. And it's also lucky that the exit is not very far away either. It's nice when things work out like that. Alright, so we just use the star key on this bad boy. And then just use the saw to... I don't know if we'll get that lucky for all of them, but we got that lucky for this one. <laughs> Alright, it's time to save up. I want to keep file one just in case. Alright, looking for the earth gem. Well... <laughs> We don't actually really need any enemies from here, so I'm actually just going to <laughs> zoom through this place. <laughs> I'd rather just do this place for the metals later when it's going to be really easy. And we're super overgeared for this place. I mean, we, li we really don't even need these geostones, but for the sake of completion, I'll pick them up. I don't need any monsters here for my weapons, but I may as well take them out. I'm gonna get on Monica, because she'll be more effective against these things. I don't really wanna use max here just because like as soon as I meet the requirements by taking these enemies out his weapons are probably going to be ready to upgrade so I don't really want to get them halfway through their level just to uh, build it up and waste efficiency Monica's weapons are still kind of low level technically so she'll benefit more from this anyway use a key Alright, right here. Thought we went past it, but we did not. Well, I'm not complaining about that. Anyway, we're done here. There's no enemies really required for, um upgrading your weapons in this place. They're all in chat they're all in the uh, Balance Valley, Vinicio, and Mount Gundor area. So outside of getting the medals, which I'll just do later, 
for this spot. There's not much to do right here. Something rare is here, are you sure? Do sack. Yeah. I'll come back and do this when I have the ultimate weapons, and it takes nowhere near as long. <laughs> well, I don't actually need to fight these guys, so. I'll just take en unique enemies out so that they're in my journal for now, but it's really not necessary because we're going to have to come back here later anyway for the Metalhead Trophy. So I think I'm just going to mainly focus on getting the Geostone because why not? And um, getting the Gate Key and then just kind of going. Good old lag. And that's why it's good to uh, have this armor upgrade. Because when lag spites happen, you're probably going to take some damage. <laughs> this is the problem with PlayStation now. It's good like 80% of the time, and then when it's not good, it's very noticeable. Yeah, I mean, like, look at that. That's unacceptable. This usually happens at least once a day. Maybe games are more demanding to stream than shows are, but I've never had problems like that with Netflix, for example. Can't find the, uh, the flashing enemy. Oh yes, some paint that we're literally never gonna use. <laughs> None of those are the gate key enemy. So that leads me to believe that it's something that's in this path here. Yes, I think it's the tree monster. Yeah, these guys do, like, no damage against me. Max looks pretty comfortable up there. <laughs> He's pretty much leaning back. Oh, there's no Geostone in this fur. Apparently. No, oh, alright. Well, it's really not necessary for there to be anyway. Tried to speed run the map, still had to, still had to discover the entire place. <laughs> anyway, scary tree. It's a very scary tree. <laughs> oh well, same thing as before. I don't need to fight that. Ah, oh, nice. Got lucky. <laughs> Even luckier. Beautiful. It's nice when you get floors like that. I get the dream set up. It's cool when that happens. Alright, that's another one down.
we're gonna save up. Alrighty, into the chamber of the sleeping earth gem. So like, this isn't really worth watching, it's just kind of a close-up of some random mob. I mean, this is literally just one of those random enemies that we fought. Except he's fat, and he has like 10 times the HP, and he's super quick. Just get on Steve and just kind of zerg around here while you take the guy out. The other enemies are at least a little more interesting than this one, so we'll watch their scene. Alrighty. So, this is a photo. You're gonna wanna just snag a picture of the Earth Gem altar. And now we're just gonna take the Earth Gem. Wow! You can still get the scoop after you take the gem, but I just kinda like to take the photo with it there. So, that's one out of four. Three more to go. We're gonna go to Balance Valley next. We're pretty much just gonna do this in order. <laughs> I'm pretty sure Heat Fairy is in Chapter 3, so we should be able to get Max's gun built up soon, which is good. The question shooter is kind of ugly, <laughs> in my opinion. I don't like looking at it, because I've seen it so many times, so I wanna get it built up already. So we need to go to the Flora Cursed Mask. So this floor we can pretty much just fly through. There's nothing here for us except metals, but we'll do that at a later time when it's going to be the most efficient. can be any enemy, so we do have to check this part here, unfortunately. What we're looking for is not there, so time to just kind of continue back on over here. Oh, there's the gate we need to go to. First, we just need the, uh, the giant slab of meat. It's a very random item, very specific, but whatever gets the job done, I suppose. Couldn't we just bring our own meat with us? I mean, I'm pretty sure I have some chicken in my bags. <laughs> Alright, this guy has it. And there it is. We got the giant meat. <laughs> Alright, time to open the gate up. No, that, that is not the right thing. My muscle memory told me it was there, but it was not there. Um, so it's one layer up. All right, all the way back down to the bottom. And now we got the meat. All right, looking for the wind gem. It's okay, I wanted to use Monica anyway, so I think I'll do that metal. Attack everything with just the armband. I was planning on actually fighting through these floors anyway. How, how, how bad is this? That's not so bad. That's pretty bad, though. <laughs> uh, 
Okay, that's pretty big damage considering how much defense I have too. Yeah, we gotta put some points into our armlet. What would an enemy like that be weak against? I'm not 100% sure of what I should upgrade this thing with first. I think I already broke down my brassard and put it on here. Um, this can be helpful. Let's put this on there. Gives the chance to stop an enemy. That's definitely not a bad thing to have. Hmm. I'm really not sure what to put on here first. Maybe beast, because be beasts are pretty common enemies. I will literally put... 19 Chris beast crystal <sighs> I cannot speak I will literally put 19 synthesis points worth of beast on here and it's not enough <laughs> this thing is going to need a lot of stats it'll probably get to like plus 20 before we can actually build the thing up did that help at all no, not at all. Not at all whatsoever. <laughs> this is why I don't like her armband. Because especially against ranged monsters... Just... Well, there goes the trophy. Or the medal. So this isn't going to happen now because I just messed up. That is annoying. I'm going to put her... Um, her bracelet repair powder on her hotbar. Like I have for Max... I'm gonna put it there. Muscle memory. Okay. That that kind of sucks though. I didn't want to do that. How many synthesis points do we get for that? Six, just like I thought. That's a good thing. <laughs> Alright. Well, I mean, we kind of messed up, so... There's no real point in going for the metal, because it's not possible at this point now. Not in this run. We'll have to redo this dungeon. Which shall it be? Very good. Here you are. Another one, huh? I'm just going to hop on the ride pod and kind of speed through now. Assassin's Creed Valhalla. <laughs> Assassin's Creed games have changed significantly since um, the original. Like, I played Assassin, the original Assassin's Creed. There's our Heat Fairy. Nice. Uh, I played Assassin's Creed 2, Brotherhood, and 3. They were all good games. I liked them. I never actually beat number 3, though. And, um, I then didn't really play much of it at all. I picked up Black Flag, like, two years after it came out, and I... It was alright. And, um, I played, uh, Odyssey for, like, 20 hours, but that game didn't even feel like Assassin's Creed whatsoever. I just kind of stopped playing. It's kind of turned into a, a new series, almost. It feels very different over the original games. Valhalla looks good, actually. I might consider playing it. But, um... It, it's not really an Assassin's Creed game anymore, in my opinion. Uh, anyway, let's build up Max's gun. We got the Heat Fairy, so we can probably just get this thing built up with some attack. I'll put three crystals on there. It's probably good enough. Huh, it's not. Okay. One more then. For good luck. <laughs> or something like that. It'll also just bring us up to 90, which is kind of a nice round number. Which is probably what this thing wants. 
if I were to take a guess. Oh, wow. Well, I'm not, I don't have the patience to do that grind, so bam. Bam. Wow, this thing is a fiend. It needs a lot of stuff. Okay, let's just do two. There we go. Noise. Noise. <laughs> Alright, sweet. Well, as sweet as needing all those stats can be. <laughs> uh, we're definitely going to do Smash first. Because it's our lowest stat, so we may as well get our lowest stat up to par, right? That's just my thought process on it. Okay, I don't need to fight them. They don't have what I'm looking for. This one has what I'm looking for. Alright, we need to pick up the Geostone first before we leave. Now, where is it? That's kind of unlucky. Backtracking it is. Did we already get it? I already grabbed the thing, didn't I? Nope, there's just no Geostone on this floor. I keep doing that. Okay. Anyway. We got what we need, let's go. I did want to get that medal with Monica, but I messed up. Anyway, her armband will get stronger over time, so it'll just be even easier when we come back here later. Alright, so I'm gonna have to reorganize the inventory, because I don't want to see that in the... some random spot in the middle. It's kind of annoying. <laughs> evil spirit in the valley. After we save, we will go conquer that evil spirit in this valley. This is an enemy that we need. I think this is one he needs for his hammer, actually, right? Yes. And then the pirate eye is in Vinicio. I'm gonna have Monica do this. Honestly, this place, this place just really is not efficient. They're just not giving a lot of experience. So, I think we'll just take care of this. We got the enemy there that we needed. What does Monica need to upgrade her sword? Those are both level 4 enemies. So, we can just kind of zoom through this place and go. I just have to make sure the Geo sounds not over here. It's a new enemy, I'll take it out. this way because there's a higher chance we'll find the geostone when there's more surface area or whatever you want to call it <laughs> I mean the georama is already done and we're literally not going to even need to create anything else. So we really do not need the Geostone, but just for the sake of completion, I'm going to pick it up anyway. I am going to be coming back here off-camera, kind, well, kind of off-camera, for the Metalhead Trophy anyway. 
I will make a guide around the uh, Metalhead Trophy because this is a platinum walkthrough. I'm just kind of thinking of the best way to do it right now. I kind of have a general idea of what I think will be best. But uh, it'll be um, user friendly, don't worry. <laughs> it'll pretty much just be what I find to be the best and fastest way to get things done is. Alright, Geostone, where are you? It's gotta be somewhere, right? Okay, this floor 100% had a Geostone. Yeah, there we go. Okay, we're just gonna run on over here now. Three minutes, not bad. <laughs> well, Max's gun will be a lot easier to use than Monica's armband, so we can we can get this one done. Oh, this looks like fun. Oh, that, that damage is not fun. <laughs> I'm gonna use this. I think I'm allowed to use that. Oh yeah, look at that double damage. <laughs> Blumo. I know that this guy is necessary for um, getting a specific weapon to upgrade. Not one that I have, but for one of them, yes. We'll get on Steve just because he's faster. And it'll also keep the buff on Max going longer. Yeah, that buff doesn't last very long, huh? Oh well. We're still gonna get on Max anyway, or on the ride pod anyway, because it moves quicker. I am looking forward to getting the fastest leg in the game because it controls so much smoother than this thing does. That'll have to wait until basically the end of chapter 7 though. Last one. <laughs> oh well. Sleeber. That is a very interesting name. Oh, these guys are easy. <laughs> that is a lot of experience. Nice. to use another stamina drink. That did a lot more damage than I thought it would, actually. Alright, yeah, I kind of figured at least one of those would be a mimic. 
I'm surprised how much damage I do against the Mimics. Oh yeah, that's a lot less damage. You see, that makes more sense. That thing is a... Uh, you know what? Actually, I don't know. What kind of meat is this? What animal does this meat come from? If anything, that might just be more alarming. Or did I just kind of take that boar down and then take a steak out of its leg or something? Who knows? What I do know is... This lag is not great. Alright. Maybe the game will calm down if I go on a menu. Okay. Um... Smash. I'm still gonna be prioritizing Smash, kinda. Okay, being in a menu is not really helping. This might help against that iron thing. Alright, that's not a great time. Yeah, this game is being incredibly weird today. Today is probably the worst day I've had with it so far. With this lag, it's kinda... Eh. I just hope we can finish this floor. Because we're kinda almost done. It would be a shame if I had to redo it at this point, especially. Alright. We're almost there. I believe that it'll... that will last. seeing that. There's only two more monsters. And they're easy. They're easy monsters. And then if one of those chests is a mimic, my weapon does a lot of damage against it, so it wouldn't be that big of a deal. Alright, cool. Oh wow, we actually got those. The I wasn't expecting to get the speed medal. All right. If this was red, it might actually be doable in one shot. <laughs> the falcon is good for long shots, huh? You know, I've always had good luck just going max out against a wall, so let's see what happens. Okay, that's not what I wanted at all. Okay, that 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 is that that's kind of like an insult. <laughs> if I just go maximum length, I think I can get it as a straight shot. That is beautiful. <laughs> that is very beautiful. Well, well, we platinum this floor, so nice. Saving ourselves time later on, while still being efficient now. That's what I'm all about. Not bad to have more of those. I actually think that's the, the stack cap. That's hard to say. Say that ten times fast. Yeah, three is the stack cap. That's definitely a useful thing to have, because you never know what may happen. Maybe that monster who's enraged does 97 damage while you're blocking. Who knows?
We're definitely going to save, because who knows when the game will start being finicky again. Well, it's nothing with the game, it's just... Internet. It's the same thing as getting a lag spike in World of Warcraft or something. Chamber of the Defending Wind Gem. It's just the same scene for every monster, and all they are is just a reskinned version of another monster. At least this guy's like fully unique. Cool. He's still gonna go down the exact same way though. <laughs> It looks like we either need to go see Cedric or just repair our own stuff. It looks like we need to go see Cedric. <laughs> okay, Monica's not good against this thing. This guy does just kind of fight like a yo-yo robot. Cool. Wow. Wow. Yeah, see, I kind of messed up there. But you can still get this picture anyway. So you're just going to want to snag a photo of the wind gem altar. You can grab it after the gem or before the gem. Whichever works. But they both work. So no matter what you did or didn't do, you can still get this photo. It's not missable. All right, on to Vinicio. We're gonna feed our fish. Yeah, we have a lot of them all waiting for the same thing. All right, is our den ready to go? Nope. Okay, we're gonna go. We're actually gonna go to Heimrata and have Cedric fix the ride pod for us, and then we're gonna go on over to Vinicio. It's kind of weird not having Cedric at the train anymore. Just because I'm so used to it. Because you have him there for like half of the game. Doesn't matter. Repair. Alright. Now we're just going to leave. <laughs> and go to the Ocean's Roar Cave. This is the floor we need. The Wandering Zappy. Well, I mean, we out-level this place, so that actually looks like a very easy-to-do metal. So I think we'll do it. It's all with his right-hand weapon, huh? I don't know how worthwhile the experience is from these things, though, since they're low-level now. How much is this? It's actually It actually moves the bar, but I, I'm pretty much going to skip the experience. Because I guess I'll also just kind of go for the time challenge thing. Oh, there's a locked door. Maybe this is the key? The key right next to the lock, please? I mean, I'll take that too. Okay, we got another shot right here. Okay. <laughs> so we are going to have the inevitable backtrack. Unless there's no monsters behind that door. Anything's possible. I'll take that item. Yeah, this is going to be a very backtracky map for sure. Okay. 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 Okay, I have nothing to get out of that. 
Well, I guess I just sit here. <laughs> I literally just sit here <laughs> and wait, and hopefully I don't get stunned again. And this is why you should always be prepared. And that's like an excessively long time. Oh well, whatever. We got out. And we weren't stun locked for 25 minutes. <laughs> That's the door we need. Not only do we need the, uh, the shard to open up that locked door, but we also just need the Luna Stone to begin with so we can actually progress. It's like sitting in some random dark corner all the way at the end. <laughs> Let's just open this one just in case. Okay. There we go. Maybe we won't even need it though. We'll see. Or there's a- no, I don't think we've gotten the gate key yet. Yeah, so the gate key's behind that locked door, 100%. Alright. No choice but to backtrack. I think we have like seven minutes to do this floor, right? So that I think there should be enough time to get the speed medal. I, I'm gonna skip the heal. I can just leave the dungeon and come back in after. Let's get all, let's get all the way back over here. If I get those two medals and the speed uh, is uh, doable, then I'll be able to get all the medals on this floor, which is good. Okay, there's at least two enemies in here. Maybe three. One of those chests is just a magic crystal. I do not want to hit that ball, because if I hit it back at him, I'm not going to get my medal. And that would be really annoying at the, at the literal last enemy, too. <laughs> So that's hopefully everything. No, one of these is a Mimic. How helpful getting the magic crystal right now. <laughs>
There we go. Hopefully that was enough time. Wow, we really didn't do it in time. How long did that floor take? And this shot is terrible as well. How much time did we have to clear this floor? Were we really in here for longer than six minutes? That is not good. Not good at all. Oh well, the next run of it will be even easier because don't have to do it with Max, can just do it with Steve. Anyway, moving on. Oh yeah, so th this is a very bad speed of matchup anyway because you have to get every shot perfect. You can't miss one. When you get speed of floors that literally require you to make every shot perfectly, it's not really that great. And I used the wrong thing, that's fine. Right here. Luna Stone. Cool. We're just going to save on up, and then we're going to go looking for the water gem. It's time to go looking for the water gem. And maybe, uh, maybe finally build our weapon up too. That'd be, uh, pretty cool. What was the enemy that we needed again? The pirate eye. So we just need a pirate eye and we should be able to build our weapon up. Let's, uh, let's do this, shall we? What was the metal for this place? Uh, only items. That's not gonna happen right now. <laughs> Um, we're gonna eat a piece of bread, because we did not heal up. Monica needs Blackbeard and Fat Naga. <laughs> anyway. Oh, well, here's Blackbeard. Oh, wow, that's big damage. I wasn't expecting that much. These guys aren't particularly strong, then. Well, they deal pretty high damage to us, but... Wow, they give a lot of experience, actually. I think we'll just hop on Steve for this part right here. Oh, wow, well, yeah, <laughs> this is, uh... This is literally the enemy to let us go forward. Okay, well, that is probably what's gonna happen then. Yeah, I mean, we're probably gonna find the other two enemies in the next floor, so uh, yeah, it's time to move on. <laughs> no, point, no point sitting here grinding. That's what later for the game, that's what later in the game is for. No, it's like I can't speak or anything. It'll be a lot more efficient to do this later on. Once we're super duper powerful with our ultimate weapons and stuff, it'll be very easy to use items because they'll scale better and it'll be significantly easier to get these medals done. Alright, we're just gonna save on up. I wanna keep that file one saved for a little bit, so we're not gonna go on over that one. Pirate's Revenge. Well, we're probably going to find the uh, pirate's eye thing in this floor. We're gonna skip this scene. It's the cannon looking thing. Oh yeah, and here's the fat Naga for Monica. So, perfect. Coral dog, huh? We're gonna do this. Yeah. Alright, let's uh, do that one more time. 
It gives it seems to give us immunity for a second, which is cool. Well, I mean, I think Monica can theoretically build her sword up now. Yeah. I'm not going to yet, because her sword's still a pretty low level, so we'll be able to uh, get some synthesis points efficiently. I also don't really want to build Max's hammer up right away just yet, because he can also get a few more levels pretty efficiently. Ah, high HP. That sound kind of startled me. I thought one of the enemies over here was shooting one of those things at me. I don't think I- I still think I don't have anything to get rid of the stop- or the petrification debuff. My gun's pretty weak. Let's take a look at it. Um... Let's put some beast on there. I'll put like 10. And then maybe I'll just, uh, I'm gonna save the chill crystals because I don't really want to run out. Or maybe I'll just throw them on my hammer right now. And then if I have some extra, then I'll put five more chill onto this thing. Alright. I imagine I probably only need four to get me over a hundred chill. I think that'll probably be good enough. Um, no, it needs more, okay. I will just stick on three more. So even still, there should be enough chill crystals left over to just put onto our gun. This right here is most likely enough. If it's not, I'd be surprised. Wow, it needs more than that? Okay. So this 100% needs 115 chill then. I'm so tempted to just use the diamond. Um, I don't think I really need this for anything, but I want to hold on to it anyway. So it's not as efficient, but oh well. All right, we got the paint and another coral dog. Well, there's the monster that we need anyway. Alright, so now all we need to do is get this thing's chill up to par and then we can build it up. It is starting to slow down a bit, so probably when it gets to plus 8 we will likely just build the hammer up. We might be able to get it done in this floor. And I just realized something. The metal for this floor was to clear without healing, but I'm like 90% sure that I healed already. I do not remember. This thing does not want to go down. Well, this guy just kind of patiently waited, which was nice of him. <laughs> Sweet. Almost there. Oh man, that's like a literal millimeter. <clears throat> Just one more, and we'll be able to build this thing on up. We'll have a slightly cooler hammer to look at. Probably. Depending on what you think looks cool. But I, I, I think it's pretty uh, mutually acceptable to say that the heavy hammer looks cool. Alright, do we have enough chill? With this, let's try. I have a lot of flame crystals. Alright, I believe that this is probably enough. Ah. I am, uh... I'm just gonna put them all on there. I'm kinda surprised. I'm actually really surprised that that was not enough. If this isn't enough, then I... I don't know what to say. Okay. Boom. Heavy hammer. That is a lot of chill. 
And it gave us a pretty big boost by, for building this thing up, too. Alright, well, this is the second last before we get it to the Legend Hammer. So getting all of those things up is going to take quite a while. A while. <laughs> getting all those up will also take quite a while. Um, let's just put some scale on there. I mean, this will just kind of help us out right now, I guess. Although I will probably be prioritizing Smash and Beast afterwards until they're not red anymore. I think this thing will need like 135 in the stats for most things to be ready to build up. I think I'm gonna hop on Monica. Let's get her some sword levels. Yeah, she still gets high experience, so it's worth playing around with her a little bit before we build her sword up. Well, it seems like we're on the track to clearing out all the enemies on this floor. We might actually even re reach the, um, the time challenge, I don't know. I don't feel like we've been on this floor for a particularly long time. I still can't remember or not if we actually healed, so there will only be one way to find out about that. Alright, sweet. Two more mobs. Unless there's a Mimic. And she is very weak against these things. Alright. Well, it's time to get Max in here. I thought one of the, yeah, it, it took a little bit there, so I was thinking there's probably a Mimic. I did not accomplish anything on this floor. That is a super easy speed of metal, though. I, I meant to teleport over, but we're gonna have to run. I mean, it's not like it's particularly far away anyway, so it's no big deal. But that's like a super easy one. That's a lucky spawn. I like it. One shot, that's it. We need at least three. I, I, I shouldn't say that, because I might mess it up. <laughs> I've done it before, it's terrible. Just just hit it straight, you got this. Nice. I wonder what we're gonna get, I wonder what we're gonna get out of this. Maybe a gemstone, or maybe 97 treasure keys. The most useful thing known to man. All right, what tea is it? Of course. Freaking treasure chest keys. I've said this before. They're not useless, but they're not particularly useful either. <laughs> anyway, we're done in here. If I could find the stone. Alright, heal. But before we leave this floor... I'm gonna feed our fish, because I think I can, um, put the Baron Gary in with the other one now, or whatever. Give him some Minoch. Minoch. I don't know if that's how you say it, but it's how I'm saying it. Alright, in there, in you go. And in you go. I have literally have n no clue what what's gonna happen from this. <laughs> this guy looks like a troll. <laughs> anyway, I'm curious to what'll happen here. I mean, I didn't really have any expectation, but that just looks weird. <laughs> but those are some pretty good stats. I'm he might be good enough to enter the junior cup or the uh, senior cup now. I don't know if he'd win, but I don't think he would be the absolute last. Still need to get those stats up, so let's feed them all. Give him a nice little boost, literally, because Manon increases the stat boost. And if all these fish have higher stats, when they're breeded together, or bred together, 
whatever. It'll uh, make it so you get slightly higher stats when they breed. Oh, cool, he didn't heal. So that's two medals. So coming back there to do the time challenge will probably be easy enough. We got a red seal here, nice. Well, I don't know if that's nice exactly, but... I wanted to get some playtime with Monica's sword anyway. So sweet. Perfect floor. Maybe. Shouldn't speak too soon, you never know what'll happen. Let's go get it. Uh, Death Ocean. A red seal. Well, it's a good thing it's her sword, not her armband, because I would have just failed right away. <laughs> think we really need any crafting materials anymore. What I'm looking for is treasure chests. Or, not treasure chests. The uh, magic crystal, and we're gonna have to backtrack. Oh well. But because of that, I don't know if we'll be able to beat this in the time frame. Well, it looks like there's another Finny Frenzy up now. Uh, let's put some beast on here. I need to buy some smash crystals. Smash and chill crystals. I'm just going to leave it like that for now. Alright. What's in here? Well, it's a big room. Ah. How, how much damage do I do against this thing? Okay, we're not getting the metal right now. That's just not going to happen. I'm not going to smack that thing for literally 45 minutes. Just to get, just to get the metal. Well, I'm just going to look for the, uh, maybe I should heal. I'm going to risk it and take this thing right here. Who knows what's, what, what, what'll happen. Maybe it'll heal me. Will it heal me? Oh my goodness, it did. Well, right now, I'm, now I'm just looking for the, uh, the enemy that holds the key. But maybe, uh, it's behind the locked door. I'm kind of upset that this big metal dude's here. If he wasn't, I would have been on my path to getting the metal. Alright. It is possible that the gate key is behind the locked door, because we still haven't seen the enemy that has it yet. Even though we've gone through a decent amount of mobs. Nice little level up. How many synthesis points did we get from that? Four. Okay, so we're not getting six yet. Okay, well that makes it easy. Yeah, of course. The literal one enemy behind the locked door. That's about right. Oh, this is it's one of the rolling ones. Okay, well, we gotta eat something. The cheese heals so much HP. <laughs> you heard it here. Cheese is at least four times better than bread. Probably. According to Dark Cloud 2 video game logic. Her armband is better against this thing than her sword. And I'm stuck. Alright, there we go.
Right, sorry about the no talking there. I was just kind of testing something with my audio quality that I'm going to be kind of checking for myself in my editing software. All right, where's that key? You know, no. Okay. What I'm going to do is that. Now, maybe it's at the bottom? No. I'm going to grab a hold of it, do that, and now I'll put it here. Now everything will come right to the bottom. Oh, it's a turtle that has it. A turtle has the key. Another turtle made it to the water. Ugh. That's a reference from World of Warcraft. Well, I don't know if a reference is the right word. More like a meme. <laughs> I think this is the best way to go. Yeah. Yaw. Yaw. Yaw it is. Alright, we're done. Now let's open this up. It's a mimic. I'm gonna leave it. Monica's sword is getting powerful now. I think even just this sword right now looks pretty cool, honestly. Not bad. Not bad at all. I can't quite remember what the boss fight in this area is. Uh, we're gonna find out in like 30 seconds, so... We're probably just gonna have Steve take care of whatever it is. Oh, it's a serpent. I remember that it's a serpent. Let's just save first, because you never know. Okay. Chamber of the Sleeping Water Gym. Yeah, it is a serpent. <laughs> he looks pretty cool, I guess. Although I think he'll actually be weak against the Nova Cannon, so... Perfect, perfect enemy. Maybe. All these enemies are just cheesable with the Ride Pod. Oh yeah. <laughs> This'll be easy, because we're far away, so he'll just... Oh, no, he won't take more damage, but... That's still pretty high damage. And this thing will literally never catch us unless I just stop moving or get unlucky. Yeah, easy fight. This is why Steve's damage is nerfed against the main bosses in the game. Because they would just be too easy if I can just fly around doing this. Like, there's literally no threat when I'm fighting like this. Just short of 300 XP from that. Alright, we're gonna take a picture of the water gem alta. And that is another photo. One more remaining. Wow! Wow! It's so shiny! <laughs> Anyway, moving on. Alright, we're going into the Steam Goyone floor, because now we need to go to the star exits. So that we can progress to the fire crystal. Alright. Uh, let's take another look at our weapons quickly. Um... Yeah, I'm gonna I'm gonna use Monica for a little bit. Probably. <laughs> Who knows? Anything's possible, I guess. Uh, well, uh, for this floor, I may as well just hop on Steve actually, because these enemies aren't gonna really be worth our time. We just want the chest, or the um, the enemy that'll give us the uh, gate key. I don't know why that took me so long. Cool, he's pretty close again. We got pretty lucky with all of these, honestly. We didn't have to go too far, which is cool. Alright, that's not bad experience, but there's still better, so... It's not really worth spending time on them. Oh, no, we need to go to the other one. We need to, uh, unlock the Stargate. Or whatever it's called.
right here. Uh, there's a lot of mobs. Alright, here we go. Oh man, I did I did that the last time too. Okay, the key, where's the key? It's right here. Okay, now we can use the rock. <laughs> Proceeding to the next floor. Monster transformation, I gotta say, that sounds quite terrible. That's gonna have to wait a while. Looking for the fire gem. Oh, I said crystal earlier, it's actually a gem. Pardon my mistake. <laughs> This place is kind of purple looking. Anyway, we're gonna get on Monica. Heat wear? Well, I mean, this guy looks cool. I gotta, I gotta give him that at least. I forgot to buy crystals. We're in the right zone for it too. We can just go on to Rufio. So I may go pick them up after this floor quickly. So that we can actually build up her weapons, which... That, that kind of freaked me out. So that we can actually build up her weapons and make her more powerful. While I want to be as efficient as possible with getting points, I still need to build her weapon up at the end of the day. A red fox. Rolling rocks. Isn't that copyright? What I do know is he does not take a lot of damage. Let's see if I can get a rock off at it. No. Okay, Max, it's uh, it's on you, bud. Or maybe it's not. Yeah, he does ten times more damage than Monica. So doing this on Monica, not gonna happen. <laughs> well, since we're low HP, we may as well just go to this pool, right? That's conveniently placed right here. Nice. Save your healing items. And lose your internet connection. All right, I think it's fine. Yeah, it's fine. Something like that seems to happen at least every day with PlayStation now, unfortunately. Okay, we're gonna repair this. Yeah, well, I mean, I don't really have any crystals. I'll just put seven beast on there so that I still have at least one as a placeholder. And the music's off again. I've never realized how glitchy this game actually is sometimes. Alright, it's there now. The red facts. And living armor. Okay, well, we're gonna use her armband. Or should I call it an armlet? It's the same thing, really, so it doesn't matter. The red facts. Well, another one, anyway. I mean, we, did, we already took out, like, three of these things. Protector crystals. If you ever need money, you can just sell those because they're basically useless. 
If you spectrumize weapons onto your weapons at all, you're probably never going to need to use those durability crystals. Okay, that was bad timing. I'm just going to run past this. Did we already get the rock? Yeah, I think we're already... Yeah, we did. So there's no real reason to be on this floor. Well, outside of farming up experience, but... We pretty much have what we need from this place for now. So we may as well just leave. I find that it's always easier to just come back to this place when we're more powered up. No, I mean, it just kind of makes sense, really. Like, if you go if you go to a place that you're over-leveled for, it's obviously going to be easier. So that's kind of the best way to do the Metalhead Trophy, in my opinion. The Zelmite Mines, though, is still going to be hard no matter how you slice it, because you're fighting top-end monsters. Sure, you have top-end weapons, but those weapons are what's designed for fighting those enemies. Okay. Explosive hot springs. That's a rod pod only floor. Well, we'll probably use Steve, but let's just go buy some crystals quickly. Rufio's right here anyway, so it's like literally right here. Ru. Fi. Oh. I think that's a reference to something. It's always hard to get up here. There we go. I haven't been thinking about the moon much lately anymore. It must be because of all my new friends. Oh. Oh, he doesn't sell all the gems. So we're gonna have to buy some in the Balance Valley then. Okay. Well. We are just gonna do a little bit of this right here. This is such a crappy way to do things, but it saves time, and time is money, friend. Well, I mean, that's probably not completely wrong, but time's also just precious. And this saves some of it. The Metalhead Trophy in itself is enough of a grind, so I don't even feel bad about doing this. Okay, it's probably good enough. Yes. Okay, so we're gonna go on over to the Balance Valley future now, because, uh... Uh, the guy there sells more crystals. The good thing about having the Ixion is now we can just straight up time travel there. It is so convenient. And then once you run somewhere inside of the future, you don't have to go all the way back to the time gate. So it's very nice. Um, which shop is it that has the crystals? It might be this one. The other one's the weapon shop. I don't think they have it. Or this might be the weapon shop, actually. Let's just go in here, because I think this is it. It's definitely not the one on the right, though. Oh, no, this is the weapon shop, I think. Yeah, so crystals are at the other one. What armlet is that? Moon armlet. I think that's the one before the one that she has right now. That's still a high-end brassard, though. Which is why it's like 1800 Gilda. Alright, so yeah, it's the one over here who has the crystals for us. I'm gonna buy up a whole bunch of Smash and Beast. Monica's swords actually need a lot of Smash and Beast to level up. I think the Island King needs like 160 Beast or something from what I remember. Okay. Uh, where are those lures? Right here. We'll sell like 60. So yeah, it's 9,000 Gilda. Alright, 50 is probably good. Um, we don't need the... We don't need these, so let's just get rid of those. All they do is take up space. Don't need this anymore. Okay, Smash, where are you? Oh, 
Uh, we'll just buy a couple more. Nice. Okay, organize. All right, let's throw up like four chill on here. <laughs> it's probably gonna need more. Yeah, I think I'll just put seven smash on here. Even if it's too much, it's not a waste because it's going to need more smash for the next two levels anyway. All right, just needs chill now. Almost there. Okay, so we have to leave the shop, but we can teleport from outside of the shop. Ah, oh, is that new? Or is there some kind of, uh... I remember being able to just kind of teleport out of here. That kind of sucks. Maybe it was changed, or maybe I'm just, I'm probably just not remembering it properly. So I guess we can teleport to the future, but we can't teleport out of the future while we're in the future. That's kind of unfortunate, oh well. Okay. 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 Uh, explosive hot spring. Man, now I just want to play with Monica, because her weapon is so close to building up. Well, who knows what the next floor looks like. It shouldn't be too hard to handle this with just Steve, probably. Probably. Yeah, I think that's probably going to be okay. Wrong way. Let's go this way. Clear out this big room first. Help prevent backtracking. The fire spirit. It's pretty much the same as the other one earlier. Although a lot of these enemies are just reskins, honestly. I mean, I think there's like three or four dragons in this game, but they're all literally the exact same thing outside of being a reskin. They all do the same thing, just higher damage depending on the mob. Yeah, like this is literally just a bone lord, except it's a different color and it does more damage. Not that that's a bad thing. I feel like this game is still uh, pushing the PS2 to its limit for sure. Well, I mean, I, I'm playing the PS4 version on my PC right now, through PS Now. But, uh, everything in this game that's right here is on the PS2 as well. So I think, uh, this game definitely pushed the PS2 to the limit. The triple cracker. Picking up all the XP points. Well, there's the rock, so we can leave now, but I mean, we may as well get this metal. Who knows, we might even beat the time challenge and pick up the speed of metal on our way out. I've said it before, this is my least favorite dungeon, so the less time I need to spend here later for the metal head trophy, the better. <laughs> what can I say? It's just, I find this place kind of dark and depressing. I like brighter stuff. I still think that the story with Gaspard was pretty cool, though. Well, it was kind of sad, too. Okay, not what I was expecting there. The lag has returned. I wish it would stay away. <laughs> 
Or I can just knock it off the ride pod and ignore that metal, because we do not need it. Flaming Nail. I don't know why it's called a nail. I'm kind of unsure on that. Oh well, we've been going through this floor pretty quickly. His Nova Cannon's almost broken already. We went through 48 hit points. That only felt like 30 seconds, but who knows how long it's actually been. Well, I mean, I guess, uh, you guys while you're watching this video and, uh, me while I'm editing it. All right. Oh yeah, that yummy lag. It just looks amazing. Sorry about that. There's not really much I can do. I mean, I could always just delete the scene, but... Then you guys don't really see me taking out the enemy. Alright. We're gonna have to uh, repair this at least once to get through this floor. I'm kind of hoping those two chests down there aren't mimics, but one of them might be. There's a decently high chance of it. But we're gonna go the route that definitely has an enemy first. Alright, so there's at least one mimic. Maybe this is it? No, so we're gonna have to go the, uh, backtracking route while we're still on the timer. I'll just take the red one. I really don't need anything from this guy anymore. Once you get to a certain point in the game, you just kind of have everything you need, really. Well, I mean, I mean, it's also probably a little bit easier because I just used the infinite money glitch. I, I couldn't be bothered to just grind dungeons for money in this game that I've beaten so many times. Alright. Oh, they're both mimics, okay. Come on, two medals, two medals. And then maybe three. Alright, cool, we got those two. Now let's try for number three. Okay, this looks pretty doable. Can I can I see the portal from here? I might be able to do this as a hole in one. Sweet. As long as I go straight, everything will be fine. Okay, so I don't want to do like too hard because it needs to go down a bit. But this should work. Nice. If I hit that, like, even slightly harder, that wouldn't have worked out as clean as it did. Cool. That was, uh, that was pretty lucky with the spawn. Not bad at all. Alright, let's go pick up our loot and get out of here. We're gonna hop on Steve, though, because he's faster. Alright, what's in here? I mean, I'm not complaining, but it's not exciting. That is definitely a good thing to have, however. Alright, we're at the exit, so it's time to put down the magma rock. Crazy Mountain. Well, we're gonna scale that crazy mountain after we save. Let's try and build Monica's sword up in this level. Going into the chapter seven with a fresh new build would be nice. I mean, we built up mo both of Max's weapons in this chapter, so let's try and get at least Monica's done in this one as well. At least her sword. Okay. We have to fight this enemy with our armband. Nope. 
We're just gonna fight him with Max. I say I want to play with Monica, and I just get on Max. It's just gonna be a lot better than just standing here slapping this thing with Monica for 15 minutes. It would just seriously take way too long. With those low numbers, I'm not gonna do it. And I don't think you guys are particularly want to watch that anyway. Yeah, you know, like five seconds with this one combo or literally two or three minutes with the other thing and like 25 combos. This isn't really like an action game or anything, so it's not going to be super exciting to just watch the same combo done like so many times right in a row. That's my opinion anyway. Maybe it is interesting. I have no idea. Heat wear. Charge attack and he's done. I think, I think we already got the rock. I wasn't paying attention. I'm pretty sure we... Yes, we do. Okay. Let's just take out a few more enemies, though. Uh, well, there's like four on the way. So I'll probably be able to get it on the way over. I... I kind of feel like this last level here will get us to the next weapon. Guy's not particularly strong. Yeah, one more enemy. Okay, perfect. Not so perfect. Okay, I gotta get behind this thing and then attack it. Alright, now it's perfect, maybe. Okay. I'm not gonna pick up those experience points. Until after we build this thing up. It's slightly more efficient. <laughs> the bar will move up more on a fresh new weapon than it would on this plus nine weapon. Dark Excalibur. Evil sword that presides over everlasting darkness. Darkness. <laughs> Well, I'm pretty sure it turns into the Griffin Fork after this, and then it should turn into the Island King after that. Sweet. Now yeah, the sword looks pretty cool, too. Oh. This guy is new, and I am somehow still alive. Let's, let's have Max take care of this. Oh yeah, they drop escape powder. I remember uh, farming the high level version of those things in chapter 8 for escape powder. In one of my playthroughs. Okay, we're done in here. Proceeding to the next floor. But we're just gonna save again. Cause you never know. You're gonna hear me say that so many times. <laughs> Alright, so we should be good to get this done. Chamber of the Blazing Fire Gym. Almost skipped that. <laughs> Guardian of the Ancient Treasure, Inferno. He looks pretty cool. But he's not going to last very long against Steve. <laughs> yeah, all these guys just go down the exact same. Like, if I just do this, he'll literally never hit me. It's no threat at all whatsoever. <laughs> I could get in there with Max or Monica, but, I mean, it's probably not going to be much faster. So I may as well just do it like this, right? And he's done. Okay. Last picture. Um... Not the last one. Wow!
Well, we got all the gems. It's time to go on back to, uh... Stonehenge. After we save. <laughs> Seriously. When was the last save? Like, literally two minutes. Literally two minutes. Oh well. The Kazarov Stonehenge. I really like the music here. It's cool. I could literally just stand here all day and just listen to this music. I'll turn it up for ya. It's very nice to listen to, right? Right, we need to put them all in individually. Which one is this? I didn't look. Um... Okay, this is the fire. What is that? I have never noticed that before. The moon's upside down here. That's kind of cool. It'd be pretty sweet if they made that its own unique photo of the moon, because they have three different f pictures of the sun. Four if you count the Vinicio, um... Evening sun scoop. This is the water one, I believe. Jewel of Light needed to activate the Chrono Union. It's very nice music. It's time for a cutscene. They've done it. So that was your... Of course. He has blood from two different times running in his veins. It's given him special qualities. A boy descended from two eras. He may just be able to save us. He could be the one. Now, let us strike back. Trying to stand up to my power with such a puny little fortress. Have it your way. Let the battle begin! Pesner's attacks aren't doing anything. Prepare to fire the Nova Driver. Sir, Nova Driver ready to fire. What 
What's that? What are they gonna do? Looks like they plan on using Pazno's strongest weapon, the Nova Driver Cannon. Nova Driver Cannon? Yes, I've never seen it fired before either. Can it damage that thing? I sure hope so. We'll have to wait and see. Ready to fire, sir. Nova Driver, ready! And... Fire! What should we do, sir? There is a town at the estimated crash point of the palace. Blast it all! How do we stop it? Initiate Colossus mode! What? Colossus mode? What are you talking about? It's a new system on Posmos. You must be joking. Posmos doesn't have anything like that. Yes, it does. You just don't know about it. What? what? But ever since Posmos was in its planning stages, I... History has changed. Since Max and Monica went back in time, things have changed slightly. They've created a whole new time stream. A new time stream. So that explains it. Put Cosmos in Colossus mode. Entering Colossus mode.
cool! It just threw the palace aside! The palace is on the ground! Let's try and get inside! Okay! Alright, so to pick up the last photo in Chapter 6, just turn behind Ixion and take a picture of Gigantor Pasnos. That is the last picture in Chapter 6, so all we gotta do now is just talk to this guy. Wow, chrono unions are actually possible, I can't believe it. There's nothing those ancients couldn't do with their science, huh? According to my research, an object under a chrono union may exist in two separate spaces and times at once. That means that Pasnos is here in this time, but that it is, but that it also exists in the future, too. I admit this concept's a little confusing. Not really, you just explained it pretty well. Some time travel plots get a lot more complicated. Well, I guess we'd better get going. Yeah. Yeah. <laughs> Max, Monica, listen carefully. Griffin's palace is back on the ground. This is our last chance to take him out. It's up to you to repair the history which Griffin has perverted. This is the final chapter. Okay, get going. Go and make a brighter future for all of us. Yes, Mother. Leave Griffin to us! This place looks a little bit more, uh, green. Well, it's time to go on in. There's not, not much else that we can do. Except dive on in. Chapter 7, Palace of Flowers. Welcome to the Moonflower Palace. What? You have come to fight with Cyrus inside the Moonflower Palace, have you not? Cyrus? Do you mean Griffin? Please, don't blame Cyrus. I really hope you are able to see the child's true form. Who are you? I am the ruler of the palace. Alexandra. Cyrus has not yet realized what his role in life is. And neither have you two. Cyrus and I shared many memories in this garden. They are all still hidden here. If 
this garden could change back to the way it used to be, the child may remember everything again. Please, open up your hearts and see for yourselves the truth hidden here in the castle. There is a clue in the first room. Please, go and win back Cyrus's memories. If you do, I'm sure Cyrus will. I beg of you. I wonder what she meant. A clue in the first room. Anyway, let's keep going. this hall must show how the palace was long ago. So maybe what she meant was for us to return the palace garden back to what it used to be like, like in these pictures. I'm sure that's the way to uncover the secret about Griffin and this palace. I bet you're right. It couldn't hurt to try. Uncovering Griffin's secrets, huh? Sounds good. Let's do it. All right. Well, the only way to go up, the only way to go now is up, and that is the dungeon. But we are going to leave it here for this episode, everyone. So I'd like to thank you all for watching. I hope you have a good day, and we'll see you in the next one. Bye.